I think skill-wise, probably editing was the thing that I connected to most. But, you know, just in film school, I feel like I just wanted to learn everything so that when it came down to it, I can do everything. And that's, that's helped me a lot. Like, on this, even on this particular movie where I... I guess some people might see me as the main actor and producer or whatever, but, like, we kind of did... We had to do every job. There were times where I was even, like, washing the dishes for, like, cooking the meals and stuff. In Louisiana, I was Asian, and they sought me out because... I think there are literally maybe maybe five, six Asian people that want to act. And like I wasn't even actively pursuing it, but they're like, yeah, but we've heard that you've done some stuff. So I got signed on to an agent almost exclusively by that fact. I actually would like to be maybe a writer-director more so than anything else. Like, the acting side of it, I actually, I've started, since I've gotten into it, I've appreciated it much more. And actually, now that I've started to see, like, kind of the, I guess the state of Asian Americans in it, like, I kind of do feel like, yeah, maybe I should, like, put myself in these type of roles just so, like, so that's out there. And that's actually why this, our movie in particular is kind of strange in that, like, it's not exactly Asian-American themed yeah. by any means. So, like, when we got accepted into the Asian-American Film Festival, I was like, oh, well, I guess, I guess just me being in it qualifies. But, um... They were even. They even told me like, no, it's actually very important that like it's not necessarily Asian American exactly. theme, but it's just a movie that happens to have an Asian American as a main character, regardless. You know, I mean, I've I've put more time into acting like since I've been out in LA for the past six months than I've put into anything else. Like, uh, it's you definitely need to though. Having been in LA, you you can't just kind of skate by on my ethnicity like kind of how Louisiana was kind of been able to do, but. <laughs> I think I uh, I definitely am trying to pursue more of the acting side right now, but at the same time, yeah, with the with the way this movie is starting to end, people are starting to ask us like, what's the next project? And I do have to think, as like a producer, director, writer. Louisiana is like the hot spot for Hollywood filmmaking now. So in some ways, maybe Asian American actors should just go like live out in Louisiana. There's something. In going some ways, there. it's kind of a double-edged sword because, yeah, for. Like, I was in 21 Jump Street. That was, like, my second audition. I got it, and then I got another role in a movie, Now You See Me. Yeah. And, like, there was some other roles, like, uh, there's a movie, it was, like, one of those spoof movies, like, Meet the Spartans or whatever. They wanted me to play the guy, uh, the Korean singer, Sai, and I was like, I don't really look like him. Are you sure you want me in there? And they're like, trust me. <laughs> and I well, go there, and they have, like, Hispanic actors, like, auditioning for it. So, like, yeah, in some respects, yeah, if there's an Asian role, like, it actually, there's not many people, it, it is kind of an advantage, but at the same time, it's few and far between. Like, there are a lot of movies that are shot down there, but, like, right. Django and Chain shoots down there, it doesn't mean that there's an Asian American in that movie. Yeah, or, yeah. Uh, and we started thinking about, like, what do we have? Like, what do we have within our means to make a movie? We had that lake house, I don't know if you saw, like, the trailer, like that. I, yeah, I, I've only seen the trailer. Well, yeah, so. the location is was a big part of it. So we had four guys in the lake house, that was our initial idea, and then, um... We didn't really quite have a story idea, but like we spent the night at that lake house and just started doing ridiculous stuff, and that a lot of that kind of got written into the movie. My friend Chip, he um, he kind of offered up the idea of like maybe it can be like an intervention with like about suicide because he had kind of gone through that like when he was in I think his teenage years, so like I guess they somehow thought it was it made the most sense to like actually apply that to me, and you know we all kind of had. A lot of the stories kind of like pulls from like our uh, our actual uh, life at the time, and uh, it, we just kind of wrote it into a story, and we made the movie. We were always pitching it as a comedy about suicide, which is a hard pitch as it is, but um, yeah, we always wanted to make kind of a dramedy. I think that's personally some of my favorite movies are kind of the mix, and you know, as well as the other guys. So yeah, I think that was always in the books. Like if you, the movie itself has some very distinct comedic moments, so it's hard to deny the fact that, like, yeah, it was, it was meant to be a comedy from the start. My character doesn't really get a chance to be funny. He's kind of the, the suicidal guy. I mean, there are moments where I kind of, like, kind of dry humor played throughout. Now, I've had some people come up to me and say, like, oh, yeah, your character I thought was the funniest, even though he did the least amount of stuff. I was like, oh, wow, that, that means a lot. <laughs> I feel like our character, like, we have, we have four main characters, and, like, each of the characters someone can relate to. Like, we have four different, very different stories going on with, with them, and... I think, regardless, someone will relate to one of the stories, and I think that's where... It's, it's more of an ensemble piece, I, in my opinion.